Spirit. O Christ God, Lord, your own free will, were lifted up onto the cross, to sow your mercy upon the new people that bear your name. Make Orthodox Christians glad in your power, giving them victory over the enemy. That thus your help shall be a weapon of peace and a defensible victory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. O protection of Christians, that can never be put to shame, mediator to the Creator most constant. Do not despise the voice of the entreaties we sinners raise, but as you are good, come to the aid of those who cry to you. Quickly hasten over to the of God to intercede for us and be quick to pray for us. O you who ever protect them who honor you.
O oh God, you are my God, your name will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you in a drying, thirsty land, where there is no water to see your power and your glory. So I have seen you in the sanctuary, because your loving kindness is better than mine. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live, I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied like the marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand upholds me. For those who seek my life to destroy, I shall go into the lower part of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, everyone who swears by him shall glory, but the mouth of those who speak lies shall be so. I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, in my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and find your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I am like a man who has no strength. I drift among the dead like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your you have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put away my acquaintances far from me, you have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye races away because of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon you, I have stretched out my hands to you. My soul, will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave or your faithfulness and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark of your righteousness and the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out to the Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and having been exalted, I was brought born into despair. Your wrath has gone over me, and your terrors have greatly disquieted me. They came around to me all day long like water, they engulfed me all together. Loved one and friend, you have put far from me and my acquaintances into darkness. O Lord God, in my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and find your ears to my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who fills your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always be angry with us, nor will he keep his wrath forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As kind as the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for men, his days are like grass, as a flower of the fields of the flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength to do his word, and keep the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, you ministers of his who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all of his works, in all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, my soul. Lord, hear my prayer, listen to my supplication, hear truth, answer me in your righteousness. 
God, I am here to judge you with your servant, for in your sight no one of me is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has crushed my life down to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, and my heart is in despair. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all your works. I ponder the works of your hands, I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts after you as a thirsty man. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Teach me the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight path. Provide me, O Lord, for your name's sake and your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of trouble. In your mercy, cut off men and my enemies, and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Listen to my supplication, answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Listen to my supplication, answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God, our Lord, glory to you. Jesus, pray the Lord. Lord, and mercy. We want to be from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, and mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastery, and for those who enter with faith, piety, and the fear of God, let us pray the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his eminence, Archbishop Nathaniel, the venerable priest, the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our nation, for our civil and military authorities, the armed forces, and for all authorities, let us pray the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our mother, our discovery, our love, the mothers and sisters of this holy monastery, let us pray the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy place and the surrounding countryside, for all cities, towns, and villages, the faithful dwelling in that and the entire nation, let us pray the Lord.
which is of age to some end. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the servants of the Lord. You that stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name for his presence. <coughs> for the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel for his special treasure. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleads, he did in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all deep places. He brings up clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasure. He destroyed the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent signs and wonders in the midst of you, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and all his servants. He punished many nations and slew mighty kings, Zion, Zion king of the Amorites, Og, king of Ashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to Israel, his people. <coughs> your name, Lord, endures forever. In your memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they hear not, nor is there any breath in their mouth. They that make them are like them, so is everyone who trusts in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed. He who dwells in Jerusalem. He who dwells in Jerusalem. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his great mercy is without end. Give thanks to the God of God for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his mercy endures forever. To him that alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him that struck Egypt in their first form, for his mercy endures forever. <coughs> God of Israel for a woman, for his mercy endures forever. Our mouth stretched with power in his hand, for his great mercy is without end. To him that divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. The slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Zion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Nod, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. He gave their land as a heritage, for his mercy endures forever. Even a heritage to Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowly state, for his mercy endures forever. They snatched us from our enemies, for his great mercy is without end. He gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his great mercy is without end. <clears throat> By the rivers of Babylon we sat down and wept, when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For they are they that had taken us captive, required of us a song. And they that carried us away, required of us the river, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in the strange land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my supreme joy. Remember, O Lord, the children of Eden in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it to its very foundations. O daughter of Babylon, who is to be destroyed, happy shall he be who would praise you as you have served us. Happy shall he be who takes and dashes your little ones against the stone. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Choosing to suffer crucifixion and death, thou hast set up the cross in the midst of the creation. When thou hast consented, O Savior, that thy body should be nailed to the wood, the sun hid its rays. Seeing this, the thief confessed thee as God and cried to thee, O Lord, remember me, and because of his faith he was granted paradise. Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Thou wast exalted, Lamb of God, upon the cypress, the pine, and the cedar. 
so as to save those who worship in faith by voluntary crucifixion. Glory be to thee, O Christ our God. Wonderful is God in the saints, the God of Israel. Through your faith you shine as radiant lights, O physicians of the true worship of God, holy and glorious martyrs. You are not terrified by the torments of the tyrants, but you cast down the blasphemous teachings of idolatry, taking up the true cross as your emblem of victory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By thine own free choice, O compassionate Christ, thou hast endured a shameful death upon the cross. And when thy mother, alone supreme in love, through thy tender mercy, and when thy mother saw thee, she was wounded in her heart, and her prayers, O Lord, alone supreme in love, through thy tender mercy, have pity on the world and save it, for thou dost take away its sin. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart, I will praise you before the angels. You have heard the word of my mouth. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your kindness and your truth. For you have multiplied, for you have magnified your name above all names. The day when I cried out, you answered me and strengthened me with power in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord is on high, yet he has compassion on the lowly, but he looks upon the proud from far. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. You will repay them on my behalf, O Lord, for your mercy endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts far off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether, the last and the first. You have fashioned me and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too much for me. It is too high. I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I go down to Hades, behold, you are there. If I spread my wings in the morning to fly and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness cannot hide me from you, for with you the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. You have formed my reins, you have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the most part of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book all my members were written. The days fashioned from me when as yet they were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you would slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, you men of blood. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate you, and waste away because of your enemies? I have hated them with perfect hatred, and I count them my enemies. <clears throat> Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thought, thoughts. <clears throat> and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Rescue me, O Lord, from the evil men. Preserve me from the violent men, which imagine mischief in their hearts. They continue to gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent, the poison of asp is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have proposed to overthrow my opponents. <clears throat> the proud have hidden a snare for me in the cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. I said to the Lord, You are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further his wicked devices, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. 
for as you shall give thanks to your name, the upright shall dwell in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and in the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Sanctify in the season of abstinence the precious cross stands here before us. As we venerate it today, let us cry aloud, O Master, who lovest mankind, with its aid grant us in compunction to pass through the remainder of the past, and so to behold thy life-giving passion, through which we are redeemed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ, begotten from the Father without beginning, when the mother who bore thee in the last days saw thee hanging on the cross, she cried out, Amen thee. Woe is me, my well beloved Jesus. O my son, glorified as God by the angels, how art thou crucified now of thine own will by lawless men? I sing thy praises, O long suffering Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, I cry to you, hear me, attend to the voice of my supplication when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense. Let the lifting up of my hands be the evening sacrifice. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth, and keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, nor to practice wicked deeds with men who work against you. Do not let me join with your choice ones. The righteous shall chase in you with mercy and reprove you, but the oil of the wicked shall never touch my head. And even then I will pray for your good will. Your judges are overthrown by the size of the cliff, and hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of the grave, as the lump of earth is crushed upon the ground. My eyes are upon you, O God, the Lord, in you I must trust, and not through my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have made for me, and from the traps of the workers of me. Let the wicked fall from their own nets while I escape safely. I cry out to the Lord in my voice, with my voice to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before me, my shoulder before me, my trouble. When my spirit was fainted within me, they knew me my path. The way in which I walked, they secretly made a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no one who knew me. The refuge yelled, and no one feared the hand. I cried out to you, O Lord, I say, You are my refuge, my portion, and then the living. Attend to my cry, for I am God very low. Deliver me from my hand, my persecutors, and they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, and I may praise your name. The righteous shall surround me, and you shall belong to me. Lord, hear my prayer, listen to my supplication, and your truth answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter your judgment with your servant. <clears throat> For in your sight no one living is righteous. The enemy has persecuted my soul, he has crushed my life down to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who want me dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, and my heart is in despair. I remember the days of old, I meditated in all your works, I ponder the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, and my soul first after you like a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest it be like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for you do I trust. Teach me the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, and in your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of trouble. In your mercy, cut off my enemies, and destroy all those who take my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Beholding now the light of our souls, thy holy cross, O Christ, joyfully we venerate it, and with gladness cry aloud. Glory be to thee, whose will it was to be raised upon the cross. Glory be to thee, who by the cross has given light to all creation. Through the cross we glorify thee in never-ceasing hymns. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When the Virgin Mother saw thee raised upon the cross, O Lord of God, with a mother's grief she cried, O 
What is this new and strange wonder, O my son? How can self suffer death or life and all? It is because in thy compassion thou dost will to bring the dead to life. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be justified when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquities and in sins my mother conceived me. Behold, you love truth, you have shown me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. Purge me with this up, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones that you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgressors the way to you, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall joyfully declare your righteousness. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall speak of your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. Sacrifices to God are a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, God will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion and build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, oblation and whole heart offerings. And they shall offer rules on your altar. God save his people, bless your heritage, mercy and compassion, and watch over your world. Strengthen our sacrifices and send down your mercy down. To the exceptions of all your ladies, birthday, where God will be with the very faith in this holy monster. As the power of the animal life can be brought by protection down the body of the powers of heaven. To the intercessions of the animal, the Lord is brought before him and baptized with God, and the Lord is not allowed to the Father. <clears throat> Our Holy Father, and the great teachers of the world, I are faithfully very favored that they love you in the home of the system. Saints have the nature of certain John and Rose, Lord, and Bishop of the Lord, and Mary. Let's go on with our first visual and see it. The little gray mark, George, the gold bear, the two similar streams. George, the Caesar of the Jaws, and the Caesar of the Tiger of the Devil, the Holy, the Moon, the Wider, the Second Lock, the Peter, the Father, the King, and the Captain. For example, the Gregory, the Father, the Anthony, the King, and the Moon, the Peter, the Captain, and the Lock, the Smash, and the Second, the Straw, the Third, the Round, the Eight, the Hundred, the Day of God, and the Moon, the Good, and the Captain. Shines the radiance of grace. 
Let us approach and receive salvation, forgiveness and illumination of joy, as you are in praise unto the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord Moses, which parted the sea, prefigured the signs of the cross, setting our faith in the cross. We set up with our mind to the drop of the sea of life. We escape from all the currents of sin, and obtain the flood of peace of now and ever in our speech is the dangerous amen. While mysteriously I bore thee of my son, I fell on the plain of childbirth. How is it that I am now entirely overwhelmed by pain? So the Holy Virgin awakened. I was found the earth without support upon the waters, yet now I see thee gaining as if from the clouds. The Lord has done all things to the heavens, he has thundered, he will judge the ends of the earth, for he is righteous. Source of all blessings the cross is set before us, our veneration and the whole creation gives peace and joy. It is in by the grace of our God, that is of new choice to sleep the high of And he will give strength to our gates, and he will lift up the cord of his anointed one. At a real point of the in the season of holy abstinence, illumined by the, the light of the cross, let us flee from the darkness of sin, and let us cry, enlightenment of all things, O compassion, O glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We we'll sing thy praises, O Christ, and we will liberate thee with faith as we pray. By thy power, let the grass fall away from the snares of the enemy, and guide us all to the haven of salvation. Now and ever, and unto ages and ages. The Holy Virgin saw the light down upon the cross, and unable to endure the anguish in her heart, she cried out in deep distress, O oh, with me, my son, why was this the word of God's men given to you? At the beginning, <coughs> thy wisdom thou didst establish the heavens, and the earth from, and set the earth upon its foundations over the waters, O Christ, establish the glory upon the rock of thy commandments, for there is no holy one like the only law for the Without, without lips of clay. With love we receive from thee, Son of 
participation of blessing and the glorified him who was crucified and hung him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O merciful Lord, <coughs> you belong to the me fashions of my soul, and thou me worthy to worship a battle of fashion. Make me battle through this time of fasting, and in thy great love give me the strength to refrain from evil. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. Seeing that the cross came to all the block, was born from thee, and the race past understanding in all that was virgin. Thou was wounded in thy heart, and thou was cried. O with me, my divine child, how dost thou suffer for the sake of all? I venerate thy compassion for me. Out of the night, my spirit breaks the dawn unto thee, O God, for thy commandments are light upon the earth. Lord, righteousness, yea, he that dwell upon the earth. For the ungodly man has come to an end, every man has learns not righteousness, and the earth shall not execute truth, that the ungodly man be taken away, and that he may not see the glory of the Lord. O Lord, lock me in thy arm, <coughs> and they knew it not, but when they knew to know it, and let them be put to shame, zeal shall lay hold upon the uninstructed people, and now fire shall devour the adversaries. O Lord, our God, bestow thy peace upon us, for thou hast given all things unto us, why hast thou cast me far from thy face of inaccessible light? The out of darkness has surrounded me, merciless as I am. Bring me back, I entreat thee, and direct my steps toward the light of thy power. O Lord our God, take us for thy possession, O Lord, beside thee we know no other. We call upon thy name. The lights of heaven <coughs> will be their brightness, for they saw the unjustly veiled upon the world. O long suffering Savior, O Lord, our righteous. And in thy might thou hast exposed and brought to mockery the dark powers of the evil one. For the dead shall not see life, nor shall physicians raise them up. Therefore hast thou brought wrath upon them that hast slain them, and hast taken every male of them away. Let us wash our faces <coughs> in the water of fasting and embrace the wood on which Christ was lifted up. Taking our mortal flesh, he alone suffered for the sake of all, that he might put to death him who made me. Add more evils upon them, O Lord, add more evils upon them that are glorious upon the earth. All other cross, glory of the apostles, weapon of the martyrs, splendor of priests, defense of holy monks, guardian of all the faithful, protect and sanctify those who venerate thee with faith. O Lord, in tribulation, remember thee in a small affliction, with thy instruction, we us. The virgin saw <laughs> hanging on the wood of the the glass of grapes that she had worn, and she cried aloud, My child, which thou sweet, with thy sweet wine, check the drunkenness of this of thine enemies, who have crucified thee without a cause, for in vain thou hast suffered all things. And as a woman in travail comes to her time for giving birth, and because of her travail she cries out, so have we become in the presence of thy beloved one. And the lights uh, of uh, heaven hid their brightness when they saw the unjustly nailed upon the wood along suffering Savior, who alone are righteous. And in thy might uh, thou hast exposed and brought from mockery the dark powers of the evil one. Because of fear of the evil Lord, have we conceived and suffered pains and given birth to the spirit of thy salvation, which we have brought upon the earth. Let us wash our faces within the water of the fasting and embrace uh, the wood of the earth on which Christ was lifted up. Taking the Lord of flesh, he alone suffered for the sake of all, and that he might put to death him who had made us die. <coughs> to the other, uh, oh, but we shall love the world shall not fail, but all shall fail that dwell upon the earth. <coughs> All honor and cross, glory of the apostles, weapon of the martyrs, splendor of priests, defend of holy monks, guardian of all the faithful, protect and sanctify those who venerate thee with faith. The dead shall rise, and the dead shall, they, they that are in the tomb shall awake, for they uh, uh, that be in the earth shall rejoice. The virgin saw hanging on the wood of the cluster of graves that she had. And she cried aloud, My child, with thy sweet wine, and shed the drunkenness of thine enemies, who have crucified thee without a cause, for in patience 
and others suffer all pains. <clears throat> For the view which now sent is seen in them, by the land of their God they shall perish. Today the thy cross and the tree of life is set before us for our veneration and kissing it. The world rejoices at thy coming, uh, at the coming of the Spirit. Go, my people, enter thy inner chamber, shut thy door, hide thyself for a little while until the wrath of the Lord shall pass away. Looking at thy cross and say that lies here, the ministers of heaven say thy praises, O Lord, and the demons tremble. Unable to endure thy power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With true faith, let us glorify thy twin, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God hath unity in three persons. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. With true faith, we and all the faithful confess thee to be Mother and Virgin, who in ways past speech thou hast sincere Christ, our God, who alone is rich in mercy. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou hast crucified the Son of God on the pine, the cedar, and the cypress, sanctify us all, and count us worthy to look upon thy life in the passion. For thy giving cause of Christ, from the night I see thee early, and with fear I venerate thee, give me the gift light and ever shine upon thee. Under the But as for me, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving, will I sacrifice unto thee, whatsoever I have vowed for my salvation. I will pay unto thee, O Lord. Let's all <laughs> your Christ is our King and Lord, and with great rejoicing in the middle of the past, we embrace the cross which thou hast given us as a rampart that cannot, that cannot be overthrown. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The cross of the Lord lies here before us, the sowing great gifts on us. Let us approach and receive from it enlightenment of heart and soul. Now and ever in our pages of ages, amen. Give us strength to pass from all evil, pure virgin, and enable us continually to refrain from sinful acts for our protection of all men. O Savior, help me, O forgiveness, despite the number of my sins. Bring me up from the earth and some evil. I plead thee, and it's to thee that I cry, hear me, O Lord God of my salvation. Grant me, grant me, let us pray the Lord. No, I have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, let us go down by your grace. No, I have mercy. Come in our most holy, pure among the blessed and glorious lady, the great giver God, and the river Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Most holy, dear giver of God, have mercy on us. And thus we offer ourselves on the knot and our whole life unto Christ our God. Of this day, 
in the year 942, the precious Sasha were most of the lady that they were the first, was translated from the diocese of Zara to the three of cities during the reign of Constantine and Romanos or Theogenetics, whereafter it was transferred to the holy shrine of on the, on the 31st of the month of August. On this day, a righteous, a righteous man of Musa taught the member of Constantine the fifth surname of Cornelius. On this day, the holy martyrs Nietzsche and Proto. On this day, the holy man of Mark on this day, the three righteous martyrs, Minas, David, and John. On this day, the righteous father, Agathius, and Neil, who struggled in asceticism on the holy mountain in the sleep of Dr. Samaria, reposed in peace in the year 1730. On this day, the holy martyr, Victor, of Rava. On this day, our father, Mungo St. Sino, confessed the Bishop of Verona. On this day, our father, Mungo St. Basil, Bishop of on. on this day, the synopsis of the neural icon of our most holy lady, the Theotokos, and other Virgin Mary, by the intercessions of thy saints of Christ God, the mercy in us and save us. Long ago, the condescension of God threw the fire of Babylon into confusion. Therefore, the young man danced swiftly in the furnace of in a furnace as though as an inner dwelling meadow. And they said, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. Blessed art thou, upon the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, thou first the kingly place, and the kingly exalted unto the ancient. He who is of Cyrus, I am a single flesh of your tongue, and in his love he heals our love with human passions to this season of fasting, during which the divine cross is set before us for our sin. Blessed are thou the firmament of the death of thou for so kingly praise, and kingly exalted out to the age We praise, exalt, worship, and magnify thy power, O Lord, for to us thy servants have the spirit of the divine cross, <coughs> our unending joy, and the garden of our souls and bodies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We would most sweet of the beat of robbers, and so prefigure the grace that cannot that comes through the cross. For by thy power we are delivered from the bitterness of the passions. Give us as witness of thy grace, as if in reading out the Christ's souls. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. To thy intercession, O Lady, enlarge my narrow heart, for thou hast closed up all the sinful snares of the adversary. Guide me on the narrow way that leads to spaciousness of life, O Mother of God. Bless the Lord, O the works of the Lord, O praise the Lord, the supreme exaltment unto the ages. Bless the Lord, O the angels of the Lord, and the heavens of the Lord, O praise the Lord, the supreme exaltment unto the ages. Bless the Lord, O you waters above the heavens, O the powers of the world, O praise the Lord, the supreme exaltment unto the ages. Bless the Lord, O sun and moon, and your stars of heaven, O praise the Lord, and the supreme exaltment unto the ages. Bless the Lord, every rain and dew, and on your winds, O praise the Lord, and supreme exalt among the ages. Bless the Lord, fire and heat of burning winter, cold and summer heat, O praise the Lord, and supreme exalt among the ages. Bless the Lord, of falls of dew and snow, ice and cold, O praise the Lord, and supreme exalt among the ages. And it's during the valley of time to order the furnace to be heated seven times hotter for the faithful service of the Lord. But when we saw them saved by strong and power, he cried aloud, We are man bless thy creator and redeemer. We praise praise, and all people exalt the of the Bless the world for frost and snow, so lightnings and cones, so praise the Lord, and supreme exalt among the ages. Once the prophet Elisha lived the iron hands cat out of the river with a piece of wood, and so prefigure the one of the cross, for thou hast brought us from the death of error to the firm ground of the truth. And this and this day we are counted worthy to be bold and venerated with faith in salvation. Bless the Lord the light and darkness of nights and days, so praising the Lord the supreme exalt among the angels. And Jacob was <coughs> the children of the one of the cross. 
and all of us who by grace are found worthy to behold thee, that we are to thee we come out in faith, that should be we receive this blessing, and life and salvation and remission of our sins. Bless the Lord the earth, mountains and hills, and all things that spring up therein. O oh, praise the Lord and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Single and nature for eternal life become simple in essence, yet distinct in persons. Of the God of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and create the substance of Godhead. We all praise the singing. We praise God's name, people, as on the Lord of all the Bless the Lord of fountains, seas, and rivers, and monsters of the sea, and all things that move in the waters. O oh, praise the Lord, that supremely exalt him unto the ages. Now I see the earth and the sun, I am king, he will to the cross by all his men. O my son, who is before all things again, cry to the Holy Virgin, and I am looking down by grief, afflicted by a mother's anguish, and have a silent voices, as his cry for single praises. Bless the Lord, O you winged creatures of the sky, O you beasts and O cattle, O crazy the Lord, and so people exalt one to the ages. Once the prophet uh, Isaiah beholding the passion of thee who are impassable, uh, the creation suffered with the oil of suffering Savior. The sun was quenched, the rocks were split, the whole earth was shaken, and cried out in fear for your words of the Lord. Praise the Lord and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you sons of men, that his will bless the Lord, oh, praise the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. O oh, my uh, compassionate God, rebuke the one of these from the reeds that trouble me with him, who for thou hast accepted to be struck in shameful dishonor by the reed. His iron resolved to uh, restore to honor all that had fallen into his ways to the transgression of all. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who praise in the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. When I call to mind, O most just to judge to thy dread judgment seat, I am filled with fear and consternation, I tremble and lament, for I know that my actions deserve to be condemned. But, O Savior, but not the multitude of my sins, prove greater than the wealth of thy compassion. Praise the Lord, your spirits and souls of the righteous, your saints and you that be humble of heart, O praise the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. I bore thee without hands of childbirth, but now I suffer anguish in thy crucifixion, and my heart is set on fire. And for thou art pierced with many arms, long suffering, Lord, and wounded in thy side, lamented the all pure virgin. And with one accord, we that sing her praises as pilgrims. <coughs> O oh, praise the Lord, Ananias, Azarias, and Messiah, praise the Lord, and supremely exalt among the ages. Let the mountains spiritually break forth into righteousness, and the little hills into rejoicing. As they behold the veneration of the word of the cross, let we exalt, O oh, Christ, above all forever. Bless the Lord, the apostles, prophets, and martyrs of the Lord, who oh, praise the Lord, and supremely exalt among the ages. Fearful is the grace of thy cross, for it drives away the foes of demons and brings healing to men. Therefore we sing thy praises of Christ forever. We bless the Lord, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us glorify the Father who is without beginning and the Son and you know, with the Holy Spirit as the central trinity. One sovereign power in God, and let us sing his praises forever. Now and ever and unto ages and ages. Amen. Every mortal tongue sings thy praises, O Virgin, for from thee has shone out to the light that no man can approach. Christ our God, who illuminates the world. Then we exalt him, have a holy brother. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The ends of the earth rejoice at the veneration of thy cross, O Lord, who loves mankind. Angels in heaven make glad with them. Christ, and join us in singing thy praises forever. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, and exalt and exalt him above forever. For you works of God and of creation, you holy and humble men of heart, bless in the Lord. For you people praise him and exalt him above God and Father of life, let us honor and magnify the song. My soul magnifies the Lord in my spirit, rejoices in God, my Savior. For honor of the
upon his only handmaid as from this day forth, all generations who call me blessed. For all the rubble and the cherubim, and her glory is beyond compare than the seraphim, who with our pops of virginity gave birth to God the Holy, to earth give her a God, we praise you. For the Almighty has done great things for me, for he is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him.
that we may serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Count us worthy, Christ, with purity of heart to venerate thy precious cross, and to see thy passion that brings freedom from the passions, and to all mortal men, look not upon our sins, but make us true sons of thy resurrection. And thou shalt shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. <coughs> For uh, uh, by thy resurrection thou hast raised us uh, um, who were fallen to death, and thou hast destroyed death and reconciled us to thy Father, shedding thy blood for us of the Father. Therefore we glorify thee as Almighty God, our Redeemer. And that we might, uh, and thou which now shalt be called the prophet of the Most High, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. O Virgin Heraclitus, uh, by um, the, the strong refuge of the faithful, thou only hast conceived to the very person of God, and God's wisdom, I entreat thee, give me in wisdom, that I may escape from the snare of the cunning of him who is falsely once in evil. We are uh, to give the knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, the bowels of the mercy of our God. We venerate and magnify thy precious cross that uh, is attended by the host of angels, whereby the may spring from on high has visited us to give light to those that sit in darkness in the shadow of death. We magnify and glorify the sa Savior's cross for the holy good whereby we be, uh, who before were dead partake of life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and magnify the Holy Trinity. Father, without beginning, the eternal Son, and the Holy Spirit, who shares their throne. Now and ever, and unto ages, ages, amen. All of us sing thy praises, the Mother, who hath not known man, Holy Virgin. For without seed, the thou hast conceived the Creator. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. For cross of Christ we have the encounter worthy to see and venerate thee. Guide us uh, on our joy, that we may reach the holy passion. Tatewa to pasali kaya, we never silent hymns we magnify. Thy octopus spring born without sin, Christ our God. It is truly right of all you blessed, O great giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and mother of our God, for honor of golden and cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare in the blessed of thee, who with the loss of virginity gave birth to God the Word, true earth giver of God. We praise you. And let us pray for the Lord. The Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, protect us, O God, by your grace. The Lord have mercy. Remember now, most holy, pure, all most blessed and glorious Lady, the birth of your God, and the ever virgin Mary, and all the saints. Our soul, be your of God, have mercy on us. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he created and they were created. 
He has also established them forever and ever, and he has made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths, fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He is exalted the horn of his people, a praise for all the saints, even to the children of Israel, a people near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise to the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in their neighbor, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance, and sing praises to him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and will exalt them the of salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud in their beds. The high praises of God shall be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment, dishonor of all the saints. Praise God in the saints, praise him in his mighty firmament, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his abundant glory. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with psaltery and harp, praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with cymbals of triumph, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. To you belongs glory, O Lord our God, and to you we offer glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God, John, and to life. Glory to God, and the highest heaven, and peace to men who enjoy his favor. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we thank you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father, and Lord of all. O Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, you who take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. You who sit at the right hand of the Father, accept our prayer and have mercy on us. For only you are holy, you are holy, our Lord Jesus Christ, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I will bless you every day, and I will praise your name to the ages of ages. Lord, you have become our refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Hear my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have taken refuge in you. Teach me to do your will, because you are my God. For you are the fountain of life, and your life we see the light. Extend your mercy to those who confess you. Grant, O Lord, that we be kept this, evening, this morning from sinning. Blessed be you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify your name to all ages. Amen. May your mercy be on us, O Lord, according to our hope in you. Blessed be you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed be you, O Lord, help me to understand your statutes. Blessed be you, O Lord, enlighten me with your statutes. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not reject the work of your she belongs praise, she belongs hymns, and glory belongs to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever in the ages of ages, Amen. Let us come lay down morning prayer to the Lord. No word of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, keep us, O God, by your grace. No word of mercy. Let the whole day may be perfect, holy, peace, and without sin, let us ask of the Lord. Red is so
and the Father, and in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto each other, of each other. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord.
you just shall leave one dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsely. The Lord will pour the blood thirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come in your house and long to your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship towards your holy temple. Leave me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, and their heart is destruction that grows in open food. They batter with their tongue. Pronounce the guilt to a God that will fall by their own tongues. Cast them out to the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. Let all those rejoice and put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let also those who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. In favor, you will surround them with the shield. Lord, you have been our refuge in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, for every even mortal earth in the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction, saying, Turn back your sons and men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, and when it is past, and like a watch of the night. You carry them away like a flood, they are like a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up, in the morning it flourishes and grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withers, for we have been consumed by your anger. By your wrath we are troubled. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your confidence. For all our days have passed away in your wrath, and finish our years as the deal is told. The days of our lives are seventy years, and if by reason of strength they are eighty years, most of them are only labor and sorrow. We are soon cut off and fly away. Who knows the power of your anger, and for us the fear of your soul your wrath. You teach us to number our days, and we gain a heart of wisdom. Eternal Lord, how long have compassion on your servants? O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which we have you know, afflicted us, and the years in which we have seen evil. May your work appear to your servants and your glory to their children. And let the light of the Lord our God shine upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I will sing in mercy and justice to you, O Lord, I will sing. I will behave wisely in perfect way, one will you come to me. I will walk within my house with perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away and shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will cut off. The one who has a haughty look and a proud heart, him I will not eat. Him I will not endure. My eyes shall be on the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks a perfect way, he shall serve me. He who works to seek shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my sight. For in the morning I will slay all the wicked of the land, and I will cut off all the evil doors from the city of the Lord. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto each of the creatures on earth. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hear my voice in the morning, O oh my King and my Lord.
Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each his patience. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins, and grant to forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and heal our infirmities. To the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto each of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the age of the age of the Amen. The fiery sword no longer guards the gate of Eden, for in a strange and glorious way, the word of the cross is quenched his fate. The state of death and the victory of hell are now destroyed. We are come, my Savior, crying unto those of hell, return again to paradise. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. At all times and every moment, you are worshipped and glorified. In heaven and on earth, of Christ God, a patient, merciful, compassionate one, who love the just and have mercy on sinners, who call to salvation by the promise of your blessings to come. Accept our prayers at this time, O Lord, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Make our souls holy, our bodies pure, our judgments, prayer from our thoughts clean. Save us from all danger, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels, so that being guarded and guided under their we may come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of their unfortunate glory. Your blessings from the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. With all loss of virginity, give birth to God the Word. To birth and birth, God we praise you. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. The God who long ago for us and loved us, shine the light of his face upon us and be merciful to us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, give me not the spirit of thought, despair, of thus of sorrow and day of thought. Give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Dear Lord, you came grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brethren. Lord, blessed are you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God, thank you, the sinner. God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Turn to the number that I sin against you, O God, to forgive me. You have created me. O oh God, turn me the sinner. God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Turn to thou number that I sin against, and O Lord, forgive me. You have created me, thank you. O oh God, turn me the sinner. God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Under the number of our sin against you, O Lord, forgive me. You have created me, Savior. O Lord, the master of my life, give me not the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and I will talk. Give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Dear Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brothers. For blessed are you only the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, pardon our sins, and us forgive our transgressions. Holy Mother, endow on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto you, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, O the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of the Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. O Christ, the true light. Who lumens and sanctifies every man who comes into the world. Shine in us the light of your face, and in whom we see the unapproachable light. Guide our footsteps to the fulfillment of your commandments. In the intercession of your most pure mother, of all your holy ones, amen. Come and assert and bow down before God our King. Come and assert and bow down before Christ our King and our God. Come and assert and bow down before Christ himself our King and our God. Hear and just cause and Lord attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer, which is not out of the sea. Let my sentence come forth from your presence, that your eyes look on the things that are upright. You have tested my heart, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me and have found nothing. I touch that my mouth shall now transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the paths of the destroyer. Uphold my steps in your paths, and my footsteps may slip not. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God, and find your ears to hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand, O you who save those who put their trust in you, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked who oppress me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed up their fat hearts with their mouths, they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps, they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront him, cast him down, deliver my life from the wicked with your sword. <clears throat> with your hand for men, O Lord, for men of the world who have their portion in this life, and whose belly you have filled with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children and leave the rest of their substance for their babes. As for me, I will behold your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when your glory is revealed. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses. For they have been ever from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness, sake, the Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in the way. The humble he guides in justice, and the meek he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity for it is great. What man is he that fears the Lord, him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall go in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Thy eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the way. Turn yourself to me, and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged, O bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O keep my soul, and deliver me, let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I am made for you. Redeem Israel, O God, of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have my sin and death is evil in your sight. That you may be justified when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquities and in sins, my mother conceived me. 
You hold me enough truth. You have showed me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. Purge me of this, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. And I will teach transgressors the way to you, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall joyfully declare your righteousness. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. You do not, for you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. Sacrifices to God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, oblation, and whole earth offerings, and they shall offer bulls on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O Lord, the mercy, the mercy, the mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and ever, and ages of ages, amen. Blessed be the Lord, my God, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. My mercy, and my refuge, my help, and my deliverer, my protector, and the one in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people and me. O God, is men that do with knowledge of him, or the Son of Man that do with Man is my touch to vanity, his days are like a passing shadow. Make by your heavens, O Lord, and come down, touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast what light they can have scattered them, shoot out your arrows and destroy them. Send your hand from above, rescue me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of warriors. Whose mouth speaks vain words, and whose right hand is a right hand of also. I will sing a new song to you, O Lord, the of softly, and an instrument of ten strings, I will sing praises to you. It is he who gives salvation to kings, and so that it they have been servant from the virtuous spirit. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth be saying words, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as friends from not in their youth, that our daughters may be adorned like the beauty of the temple. That our barns may be full of supply and all kinds of produce, that our feet may, may, may bring four thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be fat, that there be no breaking in or going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy are the people who are in such a state, happy are the people whose God is the Lord. I will exalt you, my God, and my King, and our praise, I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and great is the praise, and his, and his greatness is without end. One generation shall praise your voice, your voice to another and shall declare your mighty acts. They will tell the glorious splendor of your holiness and will be found in your wondrous words. Then shall speak of the might of your terrible acts and will declare your, your greatness. They shall offer the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are of all of his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and the power of your power. To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glory of his majesty and his kingdom. Your kingdom is everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures for all those generations. The Lord upholds all who fall in place of all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all who open you, and you give them food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all those who call upon him, and to all who call upon him is good. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him, who also hear their cry and save them. The Lord deserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth is filled with the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Joy to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Praise him for his mighty arms, praise him for his voice among the Lord. Praise him for the sound of the trumpet, praise him for the sound of the unharm. Praise him for the Hebrew and the dance, praise him for the string instruments of blues. Praise him for the sounding symbols, praise him for the symbols of triumph, and everything that pleases the praise of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and the heaven, and the praise of the angels, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. For the Lord who sent your most holy spirit, the your apostles at the third hour, do not take this in spirit from us, but renew him in us. Either for what uh, of graces, want of graces, 
have uh, appropriated in the manner of graces humility. And there are also people, your grace still exists, uh, who for the sake of the very gifts of God, in the measure that they receive them, humble themselves and so live uh, as uh, to account themselves unworthy of such wealth, and each day add to, to, add it to their death, such as humility, such as the attitude, such as the perfect reward. When you see a work here that someone has uh, in a few years acquired the most sublime dysfunction, then conclude that he traveled by no other way and then by the blessed shortcut. A good uh, uh, team is uh, love and humility. And the one exalts and the other, and the other supporting the exalted one never fails. Contrition is one thing, self-knowledge is another, humility is another. Contrition is the result of a fall. He who falls is crushed and he stands in prayer without boldness, but with a praiseworthy audacity as one who is a shepherd, steadying himself with a staff of hope and using it to drive off the hound of his tail. Self-knowledge is a true idea of one's spiritual growth and an unbroken remembrance of one's uh, slightest sins. Humility is Christ's spiritual doctrine, noetically introduced into the inner chamber of the soul by those who are accounted worthy of it. It cannot be defined by perceptible words. He who says that he, uh, uh, he fully feels the presence of such work yet feels when praised, even a momentary movement of the heart or understands the force of the words, and that a man, uh, let him make no mistake about it, is already mistaken. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. I heard someone say with heartfelt conviction, for he knew that human nature cannot ordinarily abide in praise without loss. My praise is uh, from thee in the great church, and uh, that uh, is in the future life, and before that I cannot accept it without danger to myself. If the limit and rule of and characteristic of extreme pride is for a man to feign such virtues as he does not possess for the sake of glory, then it follows that a sign of the deepest of humility will be to uh, abase oneself by uh, pretending to have faults that we do not possess. It was in this way that he, he behaved uh, who took him into his hands bread and cheese. Likewise, the exponent of purity who took off uh, his clothes and, free of passion, went through the whole city. Such men take no account for the fact that they are a cause of offense to men. They have received power through prayer to resume all the men and to reassure all men invisibly. But he who is anxious about the former will show a lack of the latter. When God is so prepared to attend to our prayer, then we can do anything. It is better to offend men than God. God rejoices when he sees us running to meet the sinner so as to crush, strike, and destroy our vain self-esteem. By, by this uh, shall all men know that we are God's disciples, not because the devils are subject to us, but because our names are written in the heaven of humanity. The natural poverty of the lemon, property of the lemon tree is such that it lifts its branches upward when it has no fruit. But the more the branch is bent down, the more fruit uh, they bear. Those who have the mind to understand or grasp the meaning of this. Holy humility obtains from uh, God uh, the power to bear fruit threefold, sixfold, and hundredfold. The dispassionate attain to the last degree, and the uh, courageous to the middle, and all can rise to the first. 
He who has come to know himself is never tricked into undertaking what is beyond him, but keeps uh, his feet safely on the blessed path of humility and soul. <coughs> Birds fear the sight of a uh, hawk, and those who practice humility fear the sound of his feet. For those of us who do not wish to humble ourselves, the Lord has arranged it in his providence that no one can see at his fault as well as his neighbor does. So we are bound to give uh, thanks for our healing, not uh, to ourselves, but to our neighbor and to God. The man of humble mind always loads in his own will as a uh, hurry. And in his petitions to the Lord, with unwavering faith, he learns what he should do, and he obeys. He does not direct his attention to the life of his teachers, but casts his care upon God, who used it as an ask to teach God on his duty. Although a worker of this kind does ever, everything and thinks and speaks according to the word of God, even so, he will never trust himself. Self-confidence for the humble is just as much a thorn and a burden as another man's choice is for the proud. It seems to me that it is the property of an angel not to be seduced by sin. But I hear an, an earthly angel say, I know nothing against myself, yet I am not hereby justified. But he that uh, judges me is the Lord. Therefore, we should unceasingly condemn and reproach ourselves so as to cast off involuntary sins to voluntary humiliations. Otherwise, <clears throat> if we do not, at our departure, we shall certainly be subject to a harsh rendering uh, of an account. It is impossible to see fire by nature a small workmate in any creature, and it is absolutely impossible that anything of a material nature should be found in sincere humility. As long as we fall into voluntary sin, there is not this humility in us, and that is the sign that there is still something material in us. The master, knowing that the virtue of the soul is modeled on uh, outward behavior, took a towel and showed us how to walk the way of humility, where the soul becomes like its bodily occupations. It conforms itself to its activities and takes uh, its shape from them. Authority served as a ground for arrogance for one of the angels, although that was not why. It was confirmed uh, to um, He who sits uh, on a throne has certain dispositions, and he who sits at a downhill has others. And that is perhaps why that great saint, the saint, sat on the downhill outside the city. But then, when he had obtained perfect humility, he said with great feeling, I quote himself and melt away and I, I esteem myself thus in actions. I find that Manasseh's sin, as no other man has sinned by defiling the temple of God with idols and contaminating all the divine worship. If the whole world had undertaken a fast for him, it could have made no return of this. But humanity had power to redeem, to remedy uh, even what was incurable in him. If thou had uh, desired sacrifice, I would have given it, said David, to God. But thou wilt not be pleased with the whole burnt sacrifices, that is, with the bodies consumed by fasting, the sacrifice for God, and everyone knows what follows. I have sinned against the Lord, blessed humility, once cried to God after committing adultery and murder, and uh, he uh, soon heard, the Lord has uh, put away thy sin. The ever memorable fathers laid down that the way to humility uh, and its foundation is bodily toil, 
but I would say obedience and honesty of heart because they are naturally opposed to self-esteem. If the pride of some of the angels made them demons, no doubt humility can make angels out of demons. Wherefore, let those who have uh, fallen take courage. Let us hasten with all our powers to fight our, to fight our way to humanity's head. Failing this, let us at least mount on her shoulders. And if our effort is not sufficient for this, let us at least not fall out of her arms. For I hardly think a man who falls out of them will receive an eternal gift. The sinews of humility and its ways, but uh, not its uh, attributes, are poverty, hidden withdrawal from the world, con uh, concealment of wisdom, simplicity of speech, asking of alms, hiding of nobility, banishment of familiarity, and exclusion uh, and, and of nothing can so humble the soul as a state of destitution and a beggar's subsistence. For we only prove to be the philosophers and the lovers of God when, having the possibility of exaltation, we flee from, uh, from it. If you take up arms against some passion, take humility as an ally, for she will uh, tread upon the aspen basilisk that is sin and despair, and uh, will trample upon the lion and the dragons, that is, the devil and the dragon of um, the body. Humility is a heavenly siphon, in which from the abyss of sins can uh, raise the soul to heaven. Someone saw in his heart the beauty of humanity and seized with amazement asked her to tell him the name of her parent. Smiling joyfully and uh, serenely at him, humanity replied, How is it you uh, are in a hurry to know the name of my parent? He is nameless, and I cannot tell you until you possess God. To him be glory unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mother and the fountain is uh, the deep sea, and the fountain of discernment is humility. To God be glory forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord day after day, the God who saves us and bears our burdens. This God of ours is the God who saves. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, the Lord cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy will look down on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, the Amen. The fiery sword no longer guards the gate of Eden, for in a strange and glorious way the wood of the cross has quenched its flames. The sin of death and the victory of hell are now destroyed. But now I come, my Savior, crying unto those in hell, returning into paradise. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy
Save us from all danger, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels, so that being guarded and guided under their protection, we may come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed with the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be all who appear than the seraphim. Who without loss of virginity gave birth to God the Word, to birth him of God, we praise you. In the name of the Lord, Father, we will bless you. We have been drawn to both to us, and bless us, and the light of his face upon us, and be merciful to us. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, Master of my life, give me now the spirit of his love, the spirit of his love, Father, and the Father. We give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to the church. Your Lord, you seem grant me to see my own transgressions and not the judgments of them. Lord, that's an idea of many ages and ages. Amen. And God, I can see you sin. God, be merciful to me to sin. And without comfort have I sinned against you, O Lord, forgive me. You have created and saved me. O God, forgive me to sin. God, be merciful to me to sin. God, without number, I'd like to sin against you, O Lord, forgive me. You have created and saved me. O oh God, let me be the sinner. God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Find without number if I have sinned against you, O Lord, for me. You have created me, save me. O oh Lord, the master of my life, give me now the spirit of sloth, despair, I lost the power of their fault. We give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, Love to your servants. Your Lord, you gain grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed are you, Lord, the ages and ages. Amen. O God and Master, Father Almighty, O Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one God, and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by your own judgment, save me, your worthy servant. For you are blessed to the ages and ages. Amen. <coughs> let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself our King and our God. God, save me by your name and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God, according to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not seen God before them. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is with those who uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto my enemies and put them off in his truth. I will bring a sacrifice to you, I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen its desire upon my enemies. God, hear my prayer, do not hide from my petition, attend to me and hear me. I have grieved in my complaint and troubled because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst, its seed of die will not depart from its streets. For it was not an enemy who reproached me that I could bear it, nor was it one who hates me that could magnify himself against me, that I could have hid from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my guide, and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in company. Let that seems that let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. 
evening and morning and at noon I will pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle which was against me, for there were many against me. God shall hear and afflict them, even he who abides from of old. Because they do not change, therefore they fear not God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but warm within his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live, live out half their days, but I will trust in you. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He will say to the Lord, My protector, my refuge, my God, in whom I trust. And the Lord shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his shoulder, and beneath his wings you shall rest secure. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have said, O Lord, you are my hope, and have made the most high your refuge. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp and the viper, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him, says the Lord. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will fill him with length of days and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And in the sixth day, I offer you to the cross. The air and the sin which Adam committed and in paradise. Destroy our sinful deeds, O Christ God, and save us. And in the sixth day, I offer you to the cross. The air and the sin which Adam committed and Destroy our sinful deeds, O Christ God, and save us. And crying out in the Lord with me. And I sing, say, and I will unite unto the cross, the arrogant sin which Adam committed and in paradise. Destroy our sinful deeds, O Christ God, and save us. For the prayer of his mother is may be acceptable to the master. Do not ignore the prayers of the sinners, O pure one. For he who suffered for us is merciful and saving. In the pardon of prophecy, we venerate thy cross, O master, and we glorify thy holy resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages and ages. Amen. We venerate thy cross, O master, and we glorify thy holy resurrection. And come sing, he is merciful and forgive their sins, and he will not destroy them. He is merciful and forgive their sins, and he will not destroy them. Give heed to my people, to my Lord, kind your ear unto the words of my heart. He is merciful and forgive their sins, and he will not destroy them. And he, in the book of, and uh, he is delivered to, to 
him that is illiterate, saying, Read this please. And he said, I am not literate. Therefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draws near me and with their mouth, and uh, with their lips and do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is uh, taught by the present of men, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among his people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. O unto them that seek deep to find their counsel uh, from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who sees us? And who knows us? Surely you have things turned around. Shall the Father be esteemed as the clay? For shall the work say to him that made it, He has not made me? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He has not no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while, and the Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear and the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek shall them also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word, and uh, lay a snare for him that reproves in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore, says the Lord, who redeemed in Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not uh, know uh, shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face and now wax pale. But when he sees your children in the word, work of my hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob. And we hear the God of Israel. <coughs> Now and ever and unto ages of ages of men. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on 
with us, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord are given to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the letter, and the nature of the nature. Amen. The fiery sword no longer guards the gate of Eden, for in a strange and glorious way the wind of the cross has quenched its flames. The sting of death and the victory of hell are now destroyed. For thou art come, thy Savior, crying unto those in hell, return again to paradise. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. At all times and in every moment you are worshipped and glorified in heaven and on earth for Christ. O patient, merciful, and compassionate one, who love the just and have mercy on sinners, who call all to salvation by the promise of your blessings to come. Accept our prayers at this time, O Lord, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Make our souls holy, our bodies pure, our judgments correct, and our thoughts clean. Save us from all danger, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels, so that being guarded and guided under their protection, we may come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without loss of virginity gave birth to God the Word, to a birth giver of God we praise you. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. You God, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the face of God, and send me mercy to the Lord. Amen. The Lord is master of my life. Give me not the spirit of sloth, the spirit of us, the power and the of God. Who would you rather the spirit of jealousy, humility, and patience, and not to the servant? Your Lord, you can grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. Come, blessed are you under the age of the age. Amen. May God grant me to sin. God be merciful to me, the sinner. And without number, if I sin against you, O Lord, forgive me. Who <clears throat> have created me? O oh God, cleanse me the sinner. God, be merciful to me the sinner. Under thy number have I sinned against you, O God, forgive me. You have created me, save me. O oh God, cleanse me the sinner. God, be merciful to me the sinner. Find that thou number have I sinned against you, O Lord, forgive me. <clears throat> you have created me, save me. O Lord, is master of my life, give me now the spirit of sloth, despair, love of power, and thy default. Give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Your Lord, in King, grant me to see my own transgression, and not to judge my brother. For blessed are you under the ages of ages. Amen. O God, and Lord of the powers and creator of all, give the compassion of an incomparable mercy. Send your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race. And 
and who wiped away the deed of our sins through the honor of all cross, and thereby destroyed the masters and powers of darkness. O Master, lover of mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners. Save us from all deadly and dark transgression and sin, and from all enemies visible and invisible who seek to do us harm. Here is our pleasure to hear of you, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. But wound our souls with love for you, so that ever seeking you, and being guided by your light, and beholding you the unapproachable and eternal light, you may offer unceasing confession and thanks to you, and your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life giving spirit. Always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come and switch them, fall down, and that our feet. Come and switch them, fall down, and for Christ our King of God. Come and switch them, fall down, and for Christ Himself our King of God. All flaws in life, all the novels alone, the force of so long since you were free to the force of the Lord. My heart, my flesh, I out of the living God, he with the sparrow, the smile, and hope, and the swallow, and the nest for herself. Why should she relate to the young people in the office of the Lord of the Lord of the Lord? Blessed are those who go out in your house to praise you the more. Blessed is the man who strengthens in you, and who is not by the way so long. As they pass through the valley of weeping, they make the spring of water. The rain also fills the pools, they go from swim to swim. Every one of them fears before God and Zion. O Lord God, close to your prayer, and give you God of Jacob. O God, our shield, we will look upon the face of your anointed, for the day in your course is rather than a thousand. O brother, we will be put in the house of my God, and dwell in the tents of me. For the Lord loves mercy and truth, the Lord give grace and glory. The Lord, no good will be withheld from them that fall from brightly. The Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Lord, you have been favorable to your men, you have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You have forgiven thee, you forgive your people, and have covered all their sins. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned from the fierceness of your anger. Restore us, O God, of our salvation. And cause your people for us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your name for all generations? Will you not revive us again? Will your people not rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us our salvation. I will hear about God, the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace of his people and to the saints. But let them not turn again to fall. Surely the salvation is near for those who fear him and throw him to God in your land. Mercy and truth have come together, righteousness and peace and peace should give each other. Should just spring out of the earth and righteousness shall down from heaven. As the Lord should give them, which is the Lord in our land, shall heal us in peace. Righteousness, O Lord, will form him and shall set us in the way of his steps. Bow down your ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am the needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, you are my God, save your servant. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy for all those who are blind. Even, O Lord, for my prayer to attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will find you for your answer. Among the gods, there is none of you, O Lord, nor are there any words that are words. All nations you have you have made shall come and worship before you, Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and the one who sings you alone are God. Teach me a way, O Lord, that will walk in your truth. Let my heart rejoice and I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of the ages. For God who blessed and raised not against me, Sons of strong men have sought out for my soul, and have not said it before. But to you, Lord, that have God of compassion and gracious, long suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. But there to me and have mercy, and may give your strength to your servant, and save the son of your family. Show me a sign of the good of those who hate me, may see them be ashamed. Because the Lord hath called me. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see and be ashamed, for God's Lord has called me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Lord, 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 and to the Lord
you know, Lord, you came by me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. Lord, blessed are you in the name of the Lord. Amen.
heaven and earth are full of your glory. You looked at them and were illumined, and their faces were not ashamed. The heavenly choir praises you and says, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sahara, <coughs> heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choirs of holy angels and archangels with all the powers of heaven sing your praises and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us then and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Loose and forgive your mental God our transgressions committed willfully and unwillfully. Of thee that word, those done in knowledge and those in ignorance, those of the night and of the day. Those of the mind and of thought, forgive us them all, for you are a good and the lover of mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and glory are the Father, the Son, and the Son, and all the Spirit, and on the ever and on the of the Lord. Amen. The fiery sword no longer guards the gate of Eden, for in a strange and glorious way the wood of the cross has quenched its flames. The sting of death and the victory of hell are now destroyed, for thou art come, my Savior, crying unto those in hell. Return again to paradise. Neither death nor the tomb could hold the mother of God. She is always ready to intercede for us, forever our steady hope and protection. Since she is the mother of life, Christ who dwells in her ever virginal womb, lifted her up to life. Let us praise for his courage, Andrew the theologian, first apostle of the Savior and brother of Peter. For in like manner as he drew his brother to Christ, he is crying out to us. Come, for we have found the one the world desires. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Among the saints of Christ rest the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, nor grief, nor sighing, but life which does not end. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O protection of Christians that can never be put to shame, mediator to the Creator most constant. Do not despise the voice of the entreaties we sinners raise. But as you are one, come to the aid of those who cry to you. Hasten over a giver of God to intercede for us, and be quick to pray for us. O you who ever protect and who honor you. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim who without loss of virginity gave birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God, we praise you. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Amen.
Facing the mountain branches, he waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth fruit from the earth, and wine that makes glad the heart of man while to make his face shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which implanted, where the birds make their nests is for the store of the fruit trees are in the house. The yeah. high mountains are for the wild goats, the cliffs are a refuge for the wild pigeons. He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knows is going down. You make darkness and it is night in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor at the evening. O oh Lord, how many fold are your works in wisdom have made them all. The earth is full of your creation, this great and wide sea in which are countless creatures, both small and large beasts. There go the ships and there is that Leviathan which you have made to play them. This all wait for you that you may give them their food in your season. While you give them, they gather, you open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled, you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth, may the glory of the Lord endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it troubles, he touches the mountains and their smoke. I will say to the Lord, as long as I live, I will sing praise to my God for that of my being. May my meditation be sweet with him, I'll be glad in the Lord. May sin has vanished from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun now is going down, you make darkness and it is night. O Lord, how many fold are your works in ways that we have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, glory to you.
My soul has long to go with him that hates peace. When I am for peace, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, whence help shall come to me. My help comes from the Lord, he may come to me. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the, of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within your gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the other city that is come back together. Where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones for judgment and thrones of the house of David, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall pros prosper with the problem. Peace be with you, your mouth, prosperity with you, with you, your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say that peace be with you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will speak of the Lord. Unto you I lift up my eyes, so you who dwell in the heavens, behold as the eyes of the servant who look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God and He has mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we are exceeding with you and with them. Our soul is exceeding with you and with us, Lord, of those who are at peace, our, with the contempt of the crown. If it had not been the Lord who was in our sight, let Israel now say, had not been the Lord who was on our side then when men rose up against us. Then they would have swallowed us alive when they, their blood was killed them against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us, the streams would have gone over my soul. Then the torrents would have gone over the, our soul. Breath Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their feet. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snares of the fathers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who have made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now the different of the ages of ages. Alleluia, 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 glory to the God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the God. Of Zion, 
Lord, remember David and his afflictions. How he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty God of Jacob. I will not come in, into the chamber of my house, Lord. Go up to, the, to my bed. I will not keep sleep to my eyes nor slumber to my eyelids until I find the place for the Lord, the habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Behold, we heard the men in El Catapo, we found it in the fields of the woods. We will go into his tabernacle. We will worship at his footstool.
Find in the hearts of any of the more precious deities of men who work near me, and do not only join with their choice ones. For I shall show chase and new mercy or beauty with the oil of the wicked shall never touch my head. And even then I'll pray for their good will. The just is overthrown by the sides of the pit, and hear my words, and they are sweet. Her bones are scattered the mouth of the grave as a lump of litter and destruction upon the ground. When my eyes are upon you, O God, and Lord, in you I must trust, and not in my soul destitute. He who the snares of fear leads me from the traps of the wicked to the wicked. Let the wicked fall into the one that's why I sleep through. I cry out to the Lord with my voice, with my voice to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before him, I show before him my trouble. And my spirit is made to within me, and in my path. In the way in which I walk, I have seen the day to snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld that there was no one who knew me, refuge fell, and no one cared for my soul. I cry out to you, O Lord, I save you, and my refuge, my fortune, and my enemy. Attend to my cry, for I am not very guilt. Deliver me from my persecutors for their sound of the day. May my soul not be presented that I may praise your name. May my soul There is 
Proverbs. The simple believe every word, but the prudent man takes himself to afterthought. A wise man hears and departs from evil, but the fool trusts in himself and joins himself to the transgressor. A passionate man acts inconsiderately, but a sensible man bears up under many things. Fools shall have mischief for their portion, but the prudent shall take fast hold of understanding. Evil men shall fall before the good, and the ungodly shall attend at the great gates of the righteous. Friends will hate poor friends, but the friends of the rich are many. He that dishonors the needy sins. He that has pity on the poor is most blessed. They that go astray devise evils, but the good devise mercy and truth. The framers of evil do not understand mercy and truth, but compassion and faithfulness are with the framers of good. With everyone who is careful there is abundance, but the pleasure-taking and indolent shall be in want. A prudent man is the crown of the wise, but the occupation of fools is evil. A faithful witness shall deliver a soul from evil, but a deceitful man kindles falsehoods. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and he leaves his children to support of peace.
so then to be worthy members of your Christ who gave himself as a ransom for our soul. We are in the nation and we offer glory to you to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come together and unto each other of each other. Amen. Those preparing for the nation depart, are preparing for the nation depart, all catching depart us. No catching remain with us, but faithful again and again in peace, pray to the Lord.
Brethren and fathers, the day of Pascha is drawing near since with God's help we have passed the midpoint of the feast. But uh, are we pressing forward to reach the Pascha that comes and goes? Have we not achieved this year after year? The present Pascha too will pass. For there is nothing lasting in this present age, but all our days pass <coughs> in the shadow, and our life travels like a rapid rider until it has driven us to the final boundary of life. What someone says is Pascha not to be desired. Of course, it is very much to be desired. How could it not be? But we accomplish Pascha every year. And what is this? Cleansing from sins, contrition of heart, tears of compunction, a clean conscience, the death of the parts of us that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and any other evil that is at work. One who has been found worthy in all this does not Easter and celebrate a much longed for a feast to the Lord just once a year, but we may say thus so each day. Someone, on the other hand, who does not have all the foregoing, but is held fast by the passions, cannot celebrate. For how can someone celebrate who, whose God is uh, their stomach? Or who is uh, aflame with fleshly lusts? Or who melted by the heat of jealousy? Or drowned by the love of money? Or enslaved to vain glory? were caught up by the other passions. No one could possibly say that someone with a high fever was at rest, or that someone shipwrecked was making a good voyage. It simply isn't possible. It is impossible for someone who has become dark to be enlightened, <coughs> or for someone uh, possessed by sense to celebrate. But for you, brothers, we are confident of better things, ones that promise, uh, that, uh, uh, that promise salvation. Uh, for our way of life is nothing other than preparation for the feast. Look at the reality. Somebody succeeds, somebody reading, reading, study, study, prayer, prayer. Like a wheel uh, drawing us to, uh, and joining us to God. How truly excellent is this way of life, how supremely excellent. How blessed is this life, and twice blessed. So then, since we have been shown uh, uh, the uh, uh, sought for pasta, my bro honored brothers, let us make it our aim, and as far as we can, celebrate it every day, and through the death of the passions and the resurrection of the virtues in imitating the Lord because he too suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow in his steps. And I say this, not so uh, we become <coughs> judges of others, for each has their own load to carry, but so that conscience of the grace that has been given us by God, we may give thanks to God, to the giver, glorify the benefactor, repay the master, who has not only granted our present blessings, but also to those who genuinely serve him to the end, he will also give those that are in uh, his uh, promises, that eternal and heavenly Pascha. May we all attain it by the grace and love for mankind of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the <coughs> glory and might, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and that will be the ages of ages. Amen. O Jesus, see that the Lord is with Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
They looked to him and were illumined, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around all who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you the saints. There is no one to those who fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking God. Depart from evil, do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as have a right spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He keeps all his bones, and not one of them is broken. The death of the sinner is evil, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be forsaken. I will exalt you, my God and my King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is without end. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. They will tell the glorious splendor of your holiness, and will recount your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your terrible acts, and will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all who open you, and you give them food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever.